A bill that would change the future of electric vehicles in Mississippi is on the way to the governor's desk. 12 News' Richard Lake has more details on House Bill 401 and why some lawmakers believe it could hurt Mississippi's economy. House Bill 401 passed the Senate after a nearly two-hour debate with the majority of opponents being Republican senators. I've only been here four years. This is the worst piece of legislation I've seen come before this floor. And I would just ask you to consider voting against it. If made law, House Bill 401 would mandate electric vehicles be sold through franchise dealerships instead of the more commonly used manufacturer-owned dealers. Senator Jeremy England voiced his dismay many times, saying that it not only hurts consumers, but also the state. We're, we're telling the electric vehicles who use a different sales model that, that their sales model is not acceptable in Mississippi. If you have to go to a middleman and go to a dealership, you can already count on a 5% uh, increase in cost tacked on just for the middleman on that. I feel like we're sending the wrong message. I think we're telling them, look, uh, we're going to do things the old way here in Mississippi. Good luck in the other states. And they're going to start selling their vehicles there. And we're going to miss out on it. Proponents of the bill hold that this legislation ensures that all manufacturers have an even playing field while opponents say it is anti-capitalism. I've said repeatedly it's one set of rules uh, for everyone, and that's what it does. There's just so many things that we're doing that is not moving forward, and I think we took a step backwards uh, with this legislation today. Senator England believes that this legislation also makes the state less attractive for future investments. In Nevada, uh, they're an open model state. They allow direct sales from electric vehicle manufacturers. They just saw a $3.4 billion investment by a battery company in the state of Nevada. The lone Mississippi Tesla store in Brandon will be allowed to remain open if this bill is made law. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.